Hello, my name is Peter Raymer. In this series of videos, we've been looking at chain of command and how we use chain of command on different object types. We've looked at extending base Microsoft code in classes, uh, in table methods, form methods, form data source methods, form data source field methods. And now in this video, we're gonna look at how we use chain of command to extend code for form uh, controls. So you might have a button on a form or maybe just another control in a grid that you need to use chain of command to extend um, the method code. Uh, maybe a most common scenario is you've got a button. So let's pretend we've got a button. In this case, I'm looking at the sales order form. If I look at the action pane, there is a complete button um, that you can use as part of the sales order call center functionality. And let's just pretend that we wanted to extend and add code um, that will fire anytime a user clicks this complete button. What we can do is we can create a new class, say new item, select class, and then I'm gonna give this class a name. I'll call it sales table underscore complete button and then finish it with underscore extension. I always need to finish it with underscore extension. We'll get our new class. Then I need to do a first few things. I need to add an attribute at the top and an extension of global function. I need to specify in this extension of global function the name of the object that I want to modify. And I could put in a string, but uh, I'd have to know what that full string is for that control, and that wouldn't be a great best practice. Instead, I can use this global function form control string. And then um, in this, this is going to take a few different things. It's going to take the name of the form, in this case, sales table, and then the name of the actual control. So in this case, um, the control is just named complete. So I'll put that in there. I'll close my parentheses, close my parentheses on extension of, and then I'm good to go with this uh, attribute. I'm telling the compiler that this is the object that I wish to add additional code to. Next, I need to use the keyword final. Um, that's a requirement. I already am naming my class with underscore extension. The next thing I need to do is copy the exact same method definition. Um, and so in this case, if I'm going to override the clicked method, I'm going to say public void clicked. I can get that from looking at the class itself. And then the very last thing I need to do is call the base method. We always have to call the base method. So I will say next clicked what we call the base method using this next keyword. At this point, I'm all set. I've created um, the very basics outline of what I need to do to actually extend it. Um, so now let's say I want to extend this clicked method and I want to display a message saying this sales order number has been complete. Well, how would I get that current sales order number? Um, this is where we can use kind of a few tricks. We can call, uh, we can declare a variable of type form button control. So I'm just going to do that now. And I can do that by saying uh, any to object this and this is going to refer to my actual control and I can cast this as a form button control. Now that I've done that I actually can declare a form data source variable form data source and I can get that from the form button control um, by typing this form button control dot form run this is going to get us the entire form run object that's related to this control. And once I have this full complete object, I can actually drill in and get the data source, a particular data source on this form. And I can say, I want the data source 
in this case for a sales table. Maybe we want to get the sales order number off of this um, form to display in our method. Now that I've got a form data source, I need to cast it as a particular type of table buffer. So in this case, I want sales table. So I'm going to declare a new variable called sales table. I'm going to say form data source dot cursor to get the currently selected sales table record. Now I'm ready um, to actually add my message at the end. So if a user clicks this form um, or click the, this complete button, I want to add a message at the end um, that will use string format. I can say um, sales order percent one was completed. I can then use get that value from the table buffer by saying sales table dot sales ID and then close my parentheses for the string format, close my um, parentheses for the info and voila, now I have my message that's going to appear uh, when the user clicks the complete button. Obviously, we can do a whole lot of other things, and there's many, many other um, scenarios where you might want to extend the method and add additional code to what's already there in a base form. Um, but this is just one of them. So just to recap, what we looked at today is extending code on a forms control. So whether that be a button or another field um, or a tab, anything like that, any uh, methods that are directly off the control of a form, you can do it using chain of command like we've seen here. Thanks so much for watching.